It's been two years since COVID-19 came into existence. And now we have Omicron. Should we be worried? Let's find out if Omicron is going to affect those who are pregnant or planning to be pregnant. WHO first learned of SARS-CoV-2 in December 2019. It is a single-stranded RNA envelope virus. It has a spike protein, RNA, and lipoprotein envelope. It has large number of spike proteins covering the surface. These spike proteins bind to the host cell receptor and facilitate viral cell entry to the human cells through the cell membrane. Once the virus enters the cell, the viral RNA is released. The viral RNA then hijacks the human cell machinery and produces more virus particles. The common symptoms of COVID-19 include cough, fever or chills, muscle or body aches, vomiting or diarrhea, new loss of taste or smell. And symptoms of severe COVID-19 disease include shortness of breath or difficulty in breathing, confusion, persistent pain or pressure in the chest, and high temperature above 38 degrees centigrade. Currently. WHO has recommended using letters of Greek alphabet Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, etc. for different COVID variants which are easy to pronounce and non-stigmatizing. The Alpha variant of COVID-19 was first identified in United Kingdom in September 2020. The Beta variant was first known to exist in South Africa in May 2020. The Gamma variant was noted in Brazil in November 2020. The Delta variant was recognized in India in October 2020. And the most recent one, Omicron surfaced in multiple countries including South Africa in November 2021. Why there are different variants of coronaviruses? Viruses constantly change through mutations. When a virus has one or more new mutations, it's called a variant of the original virus. All viruses including SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, change over time. Most changes have little or no impact on the virus's properties. However, some changes may affect the virus's properties such as how easily it spreads, the associated disease severity, or the performance of vaccines. Now what is Delta variant of COVID? It was identified in September 2020. This variant is nearly twice as contagious as earlier variants and might cause severe illness. The greatest risk of transmission is among unvaccinated people. People who are fully vaccinated can get vaccine breakthrough infections and spread the virus to others. However, it appears that vaccinated people spread COVID-19 for a shorter period than unvaccinated people do. This new virus Omicron was identified in 26 November 2021. These variants might spread more easily than other variants but it's not yet clear if Omicron causes more severe disease. It is expected that people who are fully vaccinated likely can get breakthrough infections and spread the virus to others. However, the COVID-19 vaccines are expected to be effective at preventing more severe illness. Pregnancy and COVID-19, what do you need to know? The overall risk of COVID-19 to pregnant women is low. The antenatal visits should not be missed because these are very important to identify health risk to the growing fetus and the mother. If you are scheduled for labor induction or a caesarean section, you and your support person might be screened for COVID-19 symptoms before admission. If there are health risk conditions like pregnancy-related hypertension, diabetes, heart disease or respiratory disease, virtual visits might not be an option. Some facilities might limit the number of people you can have in the hospital in the cabin or during labor or a caesarean section. Is there increased risk for severe illness from COVID-19 in pregnancy? Roughly two-thirds of pregnant women with COVID-19 have no symptoms at all. And most pregnant women who do have symptoms only have mild cold or flu-like symptoms. However, a small number of pregnant women can become unwell with COVID-19. A small number will need hospitalization and intensive care. What are the risk factors for COVID-19 in pregnancy? The common risk factors for COVID in pregnancy include old age, then obesity, then hypertension, then multiple gestation that includes twins and triplets, then diabetes either pre-existing or during pregnancy, 
and also living in crowded places. There are a few pregnancy-related complications with COVID-19. People with COVID-19 during pregnancy are more likely to experience preterm birth, that is the delivery of a baby earlier than 37 weeks of gestation, and also these patients might have pregnancy loss. There might be increased rate of caesarean delivery to save the baby and the mother from COVID-related complications. Baby might also require admission to the neonatal care unit based on the condition of the baby at birth. Then what should we do? Avoid coronavirus infection. To avoid coronavirus infection, we have to maintain physical distancing, wear a mask, hand washing, and do a COVID test as advised by our physician. We have to take full COVID vaccination that might protect the baby too. Monitor blood pressure and high blood sugar. Continue breastfeeding, but we have to wear a mask. All those who are pregnant or planning to be pregnant should get a COVID-19 vaccine, which can help protect you from severe illness from COVID-19. COVID-19 vaccination is recommended for people who are pregnant, breastfeeding, trying to get pregnant now, or might become pregnant in the future. Data suggests that the benefit of receiving a COVID-19 vaccine outweigh any known risk of vaccine-related complications. There are currently no evidence that vaccines, including COVID-19 vaccines, cause fertility problems in women or men. All pandemics end, but the viruses that cause the pandemic don't disappear. The viruses undergo a transition. When many people are protected against the virus, either by previous infections or vaccines, it stops spreading. Therefore, we should follow the local COVID guidelines and vaccinate ourselves to bring an end to this pandemic. And to protect ourselves, we should be wearing a mask while going out, wash our hands frequently or use hand sanitizer and maintain social distancing.